I'm Chef Bob Wagner and have a passion for food and wine. I grew up in California and at the age of 20, spent the next 11 years in Burgundy, France. There I worked alongside some of the world's finest chefs. Now after 12 years as a chef in Charleston, South Carolina, I want to show you how to make an easy gourmet meal in your home using my blend of French and American cuisine paired with great wines of the world. Next time someone asks you what's for dinner, you tell them, how about you cook? This program is made possible by the Charleston, South Carolina Convention and Visitors Bureau, offering visitors, meeting planners, tour professionals, and wedding planners travel information on one of the South's oldest destinations, Charleston, where history lives. And by South Carolina Department of Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. And by these funders. With additional funding provided by Whole Foods Market. Join me today as I prepare something a little bit different, a stuffed Parma prosciutto salad. With that, I'll take on one of California's Chardonnays. Then my guest will cook a salmon and do something a little bit different, a red wine reduction. Then we really get crazy and we'll actually taste a Belgian beer. So stick around. What a happy crowd we've got. Everybody looks like they're ready to cook. They want to learn something, I can see. I'm Bob Wagner. This is You Cook, and welcome. I've got some uh, wonderful guests here, me Trois Gourmets, that are going to help us out from this side. Uh, tell us who you are and uh, where you're from. Hi, I'm Jennifer from Sherman, Connecticut. Glad to have you. I'm Michelle Goldstein from France. Oui. I like that. Where in France are you from? Chinon. Chinon. Well, great France. Good wine. Good wine. <laughs> yes. I like that. We don't have Chinon today, but we have some fun wine. And I'm Preston from Hudson, Ohio. Hudson, Ohio, I like that. Give him a big hand. Give him a big hand. All right, today we're going to start out with something really easy. I try and get these first courses and, and make it so you guys can do this ahead of time. I love entertaining. I love having people over the house. I love spending time with my guests also rather than always worrying about it. everybody grouping in the kitchen. It's still fun, but it's still it's a lot more fun when you can get a little bit of something done ahead of time and, you know, and still spend time with your guests. Go over real quick on our mise en place. We've got our uh, goat cheese, fresh goat cheese. You don't want any herbs or any other flavorings going on in the goat cheese. We've got some roasted pecans. I, I just popped these guys in the oven a little bit earlier. If you can get those to where the, to get out all their wonderful flavor and the, a little bit of heat and really get them uh, a little bit crispy. We've got some uh, little micro chives. We've got the little sunflower sprouts. I don't know if you guys have seen these. And you can actually find these in supermarkets. That's the beginning of a sunflower plant, if you can imagine. And then uh, same thing with these. Little pea shoots, yellow uh, pea shoots. They actually grow these guys in the dark and they take on that wonderful uh, wonderful color like that. We've got some frisée, some frisée uh, salad, some uh, pecan oil that's uh, fantastic and some sherry vinegar. So we're gonna make a little vinaigrette, real simple on something like this. Just a little bit of one to three, one tablespoon of uh, sherry vinegar. Let's do two just for the heck of it. A little bit more in there, huh? And we're gonna get our salt in there right there at the beginning. Because you want to dissolve that salt. Let me push this out of the way so that you guys can see. A lot of times in vinaigrettes, you'll see something, you'll get that salt down the bottom because you put it, the oil in right away. You want to get it in there, let it, uh, let it dissolve in that, uh, in that vinegar. Pepper is also a real big part of everything I do. I don't use a lot of spices. I don't have a lot of, a lot of heat in the dishes that I have, but pepper is very important. Get yourself a pepper mill. Love having fresh ground pepper. See that? And you can smell this. It's just night and day from just peppered, you know, powdered pepper. has no flavor. It just it doesn't have anywhere near the flavor of this. It's all that. And then you can see how easy this is going to be. A little bit of pecan oil. And we're not going to heat this up. This is just virgin, virgin pecan oil. Just enough. And it's a broken, just a, just a simple vinaigrette. Salt and pepper. Salt's going to be down there on the bottom. Hopefully dissolved out, if you guys can see that. Now along with this, we're going to grab our fancy little uh, set up here. This is actually just a cutting tool. A lot of times what we use in the restaurants are uh, PVC pipes. So you can send your husband for the fourth time that he goes to Lowe's tomorrow when he has this thing to do. <laughs> Ask him to cut you a piece of PVC pipe that looks just like that. It's clean and it's just as long as you, uh, you know, they cut it and shave it and just uh, sand around the outside. A lot of times you wonder how we get these beautiful things and how we make things look the way they do. You'll see this is actually pretty, pretty easy on this one. We're going to take some prosciutto ham. I forgot to mention we also have this. This is going to sit down inside. Bob we, were, Bob, we were curious about where you get your pecan oil. Is that a local product? Because I'm not Frenchies. familiar with it. It's the Frenchies that make the best oils, I tell you. She's, she's looking at it and she's going, I knew we'd do something good. Can you get it locally? 
Uh, you can get a lot of these. Uh, this one, actually, my wife's looking at me going, huh, he took my pecan oil, didn't he? He's got the all up. So this one I actually brought back from France with me, but the, the, the French are all over. You can find them all over the place now. If, if not, you can even get a grapeseed oil and roast your pecans in there and even infuse them in there. So you, you can't find it. Just heat up some uh, grapeseed oil that doesn't have any flavor. Roast your pe pecans, get them as hot as you can, throw them in there and let them just infuse over the, uh, over the burn. It'll take on some of that flavor, but nowhere near as good as a fresh crushed, you know, pecan. So this is our little guy. We're going to put our. So you, can you guys see that? Just that simple. We just laid it down on the on the inside there. Then we're going to put our goat cheese down inside. And some of our uh, some of our roasted pecans. The best would be honestly if I was to pull these out of the oven right now. If I did them just a, just a couple minutes ago, so it's not so bad. And you don't want it too hot because it's going to sit in here. And then we're going to we're going to put a little bit of our little pea shoots in there. We do a little bit, just a little bit of salt on that goat cheese. And the salt, and goat cheese has a little bit of salt already, so you want to be careful with that. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. And this guy's going to get folded. You can see back over the top. I'm just going to pull this guy back and then press him down a tiny bit. You see it? I'm going to do this real quick without shaking it down. You see that? The little packet, and then you just press down, press down with your hands and pull up on the sides. And we can charge a lot of money in a restaurant for something like that. You guys have no idea how that thing, how it's done like that. So it's got all those wonderful flavors inside that. And this will sit like this for literally 10 or 20 minutes without having any problem. The goat cheese will be room temperature and still be good. If I was serving this right away, I would have put some vinaigrette on the inside. But I didn't want to. I wanted to show you guys. Let it sit like that. And you can go hide it or put it in your, have it set up in your kitchen table, you know, in the dining room like that. A little bit of vinaigrette over the top. You want to get down on the bottom and get that vinegar that's, that's down below. A little bit on time. You don't want to do this too early because that vinegar is definitely going to pretty much cook that uh, that ham. It's too bad you can't smell this because it smells really good. A little bit of a uh, little bit of frisée. It's not really a salad, but it's just fun little stuff that you can you can put on top. These little guys, when you can get creative and make it fun, have your kids help you out, have dad help you out, or whatever you want to do. Some little micro chives, some little pea shoots around the top, and. Uh, one of those neat little things. Is that not the easiest salad you've ever seen? A little pecan, a little. Is that good enough? You guys like that? Is it enough? I'm going to pass that over to you guys. You guys, can, you guys can give that a try. With that, I've got a Chardonnay that's incredible. should go really well with that. That's aged in oak barrels. It's got a bunch of fun oakiness to it and, uh, and should go really well with that. So try it out with the wine and uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. And I uh, think we can do that. Sir, you think you can do that? Not so bad, huh? All right, now it's time for you to cook. There's a Jimmy and a Haley in here. I'm assuming this is uh, yes, this team right here. Sure. Looks like a father daughter. Give him a hand. Come on, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Jimmy, glad to have you. Glad to have you. Come on up. Thank you. What's your last name? Guy. Guy, and from here? Uh, yes, sir. We're from Charleston. Uh, actually, we live in Charleston now. We came from Virginia. Oh, great. Yes, well, sir. Glad to have you. So brand new into Charleston. Yes, sir. Love it down here. We're gonna great get you, area. We're going to get you cooking. Brian's going to take you in the back, get okay. you some outfits on, and. Uh, Come back and we're going to teach you how to cook something. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. Give him a big you. hand. Thank you. Give him a big hand. All right. Let's see if Haley and Jimmy are ready out there. You guys ready back there? They uh, get them going. Oh my God. Give him a hand. Look at that. 
What a great team. Look at that. So thank you. You guys are looking good. Look at that. Nice. Guys. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show real quick what we have. Potatoes, I've blanched them off a little bit just to just to try and push through the recipe a little bit. So just little red potatoes, poached them just sort of uh, if we were to take a knife and just wander through it like that, where you can just see up, just cooked through enough. Some shallots we chopped. We've got a beautiful piece of wild salmon there. We've got some leeks. We've got some fresh thyme. Caramelized onions take a long time to do, so I've caramelized some uh, Vidalia onions and just roughly chopped them up. A little micro chervil, some butter. We've got some beautiful uh, olive oil from Puglia. Italy, I probably said that wrong, but what are you going to do? And uh, get this beautiful beer that we're going to have with this also, and red wine that's going to go with this dish. We're going to uh, get started. Jim, and I'll have you take a leak. Can you do that? And, uh, uh, yeah, I'll take a leak. Right <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have you, uh, are you, you're good with slicing, and you were, uh, you, did you say you were a fireman? Yes, sir. So you guys cook and do, uh, you guys have to cook, right? Yeah, we do. So you're good with a knife? Uh, well, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. We're looking, we're looking at... Uh, Probably like that. If you can slice them, slice them like that. Go all the way through like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have you cut these little guys. Oop, let me slide by here. Okay. I'm gonna have you cut this guy in half. You okay with a knife too? You're, yeah, I'm fine. You, you said you were, uh, you did a lot with your dad cooking, so. Yeah. I'm gonna have you cut it like that, and then grab this little guy, and scoop out, scoop it out like that. All right. We're gonna get rid of the, get rid of the little potato in the middle. Can you do that? Yeah, I can. Do that. I think you can. Look at that. Give him a hand. He's doing a great job. Give them both a hand. All right. We're going to grab a little bit of uh, grab a little bit of butter over there. Got to have butter. And I heard your daughter earlier say, oh, there's my friend, the butter. How much? I'm thinking, I love this little girl. Yeah. Who gets to say that? How much? Two, let's do two of those guys. This is our, our buttered leeks, so we're going to need a little bit in there. there. There's a lot of water in there. Go ahead and throw them in there before that gets, uh, before that butter browns. Toss them around a little bit. You can get their pepper grinder, get some fresh pepper in on top of that. Salt's over there next to my beer. Don't How much? dip any in there. Go for it. Just crank it. Try four. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Salt. Done. A little bit of salt right there next to you. You can sprinkle a little bit of salt. Yeah. A little pinch? Yeah, pinch that. Uh, that much again. More than, more than a lot of people think. You, I, there's nothing worse than bland food to me. You guys How's like that? bland food? No, the French lady's gone, Bob, bland. Forgot it. <laughs> How's that? That was perfect.